All right, I thought I'd do just a quick little video on how I rig up my drags. Um, you might recall me saying in my previous videos, I use all chain super stakes on my footholds. Um, I love super stakes, use them all the time. Um, but I like drags too. Um, every staking method, be it a drag, chain super stake, Rebar, they all have their time and place. I don't carry rebar. I don't like rebar. It's too heavy. It's a pain in the ass. I like my chain super stakes. Um, chain super stakes, or any chain stake, be it a Wolf Fang super stake, Berkshire, any disposable, any regular staking method. If you're in plowed farm fields or regular ground, they're great. I mean, animal's right there. You don't have to hunt for him. He's right where you anchored him at. Um, but we trap in the mountains. We run a mountain line every year. In the mountains, I run into places where it's very soft soil. I mean, 18 inches of stake, I can damn near pull out because it's all the decomposed leaf. It's very soft. I also run into places in the mountain where it's nothing but pure rock, sandstone. You couldn't get a stake in if you tried. Um, so the last couple of years, we've started going all to drags um, on our mountain trap line. It's so easy, so fast to make a set. Easy to remake the set because the set isn't torn up. Um, last year we used a dozen of the J.C. Connor tracker drags. Really nice drag. I did anchor a gray fox with one. He didn't make it 10 yards. Um, it was a slow year in the mountain. Um, picked up a gray fox on a drag. Red fox on a Super stake, cat on a super stake, no coyotes last year in the mountain line. But um, the drags, I loved them. So we decided to use more of them this year. Um, this year we bought more drags instead of going to JC Connor. We went with the saber teeths from FT, the Freedom brand saber teeths. I'm not going to lie, I'm excited to use these drags this year. I've played with them at the house here a little bit. They are a serious drag. Um, hook up quick, and again, we're trapping in the mountain. Lots of underbrush, lots of dense brush. No doubt in my mind, we hook into a big coyote. He's not going to be far. We're going to find him. But anyways, the way we rig these things up, let me grab a trap here. I got a trap here. Straight off the end of the drag, I use a nail swivel, rod swivel, whatever you want to call it that I make, into a J-hook that's welded shut, just to attach the chain to the drag. And then I go number three, straight link chain, and then on all of our drags we have a screwed quick link. And that makes it real easy for us when we're in the mountain, we can grab whatever trap we want out of our boxes. All our traps are set up with chain super stakes. And again, the chain on the trap, you got 18 inches of super stake chain. And usually I have three swivels. I need to put a third swivel on this one. But right now I've got an end swivel and beginning swivel. I need to add a swivel into the middle on this one, a mid-chain swivel. So what we do is, like I said, easy. Just grab the trap out if you can. Get it hooked on there. Some of this number two straight link chain. There we go. The quick link doesn't want to attach too real easy. Screw it shut. Traps attached. Now we have eight feet of chain on the drag. A little over two feet of chain on the trap. We're running ten foot of chain on the drag setup. In the mountains, nothing's going to make it that far with that kind of setup. They're going to be hung up on a tree, hung up in the rocks, hung up in the underbrush. I don't care what it is. Um, just a real quick, real easy way to attach your traps to a drag in a scenario where you're using a drag that's no pinching S hook shut, pinching J hook shut, just wham, bam, done. Throw the drag in the brush, set the trap, on to the next set. So, um, yeah, that's how I do drags. Any questions, hit the comments, and talk to you later. Y'all have a good day.